Okay, welcome to the presentation. Today, I'm gonna to talk about a business that can be done with absolutely no experience. There's no need for a product of your own, so we're going to be using other monetization channels today that doesn't involve owning a product. However, all of the strategies I'm gonna show here today can be applied later to your own products if you decide to go down that path like I have. Um, we're also gonna learn how to earn money while you are building this, okay? A lot of training out there talks about building a long-term business and all this stuff, but they never really show you how to make money while you're building it. And I know there's a lot of people watching this that wanna make money um, rather quickly uh, and not have to wait months and years to make that happen. So I'm gonna show you some, some tricks on how to do that. This is a low barrier to entry opportunity. Anyone can do it. It just takes a lot of motivation and a lot of work. And you can actually really start with a, a, a very low financial investment. You can either start with free traffic strategies, which take a lot of time, or you can start with paid traffic. And I'm gonna show you a couple ways to find the information that you need to find low cost uh, paid traffic uh, strategies, as well as some ways that you can scale if you decide to increase your budget. What is the business model we're talking about today? We are monetizing website traffic. Now, a lot of people know me for my CPA affiliate marketing videos that I do and my CPA affiliate marketing training where I'm talking about cost per acquisition campaigns I set up, but really it is just a small piece of my overall business. My business is monetizing website traffic. I do that online. That is my online business and that is what we're going to talk about today on how anyone can get started by building their own business by monetizing website traffic. So the truth is that the necessity to earn income online has never been more real than right now. In fact, if it wasn't for my online business that I had built over time to s sustain itself with content and organic traffic and my email list, Right now, during a lockdown pandemic kind of situation, I would have been kind of screwed because I would have been forced to either find new ways of generating income and desperately seeking how to how to do that online. But since I had planned previously to build a website around monetizing website traffic and getting my own traffic and building it, I was able to, to, to come out of this um, actually making more money than I was before. And I'm gonna show you some data here in a second. So retail e-commerce sales worldwide are projected to grow to 6.54 trillion US dollars in 2022. This is from uh, Statista.com. Now this is an older stat prior to what happened in early 2020 when we had the pandemic and when everybody started to go online to get what they're buying. So I am assuming this number is actually even bigger than, than that now and projections on how much e-commerce is going to grow. Just look at Shopify stock, uh, how it's gone f f um, almost up 30% in the last month alone just because of so many people moving their businesses to online. And people like you and I, anyone that wants to make money and put time in can actually do this and, and tap into this source of revenue. <clears throat> so I just wanted to give a little bit of perspective on the pandemic and how it affected my business and, and, and how you should see this as an opportunity really. This is the data from one of my paid traffic campaigns, okay? So I'm running paid traffic, but I'm also doing organic. I'm gonna show you the organic data here in a second. However, what's interesting here is that the data started in January. You can see it was kind of steady up until January, March, and then the pandemic uh, happened in 2020 and what happened was my traffic and my conversions actually went up which is which is great I find this is uh, just proves the point that the world is changing and now is a great time to join this uptrend and get in on some opportunity to to get content out there that people need and want okay so this is showing a, a trajectory, as you can see. It, is, it may not be a big drastic increase, but you can see here right around April, in the mid-April, the traffic and conversions have gone up here. Um, normally, a, a lot of businesses you're seeing, the trend is completely opposite to this. So there's a lot of traffic out there, there's a lot of free traffic, and there's a lot of paid traffic. So I'm gonna show you a strategy today on how to tap into that. Now here is another um, the graphic that's showing my my data from an AdSense account. So I have AdSense also on some of the sites that I have built. So we're going to talk about that and what it actually is. But this is showing you the revenue has not gone down as a result of 
everyone going online. Obviously, the, the revenue here, you can see the trend line where it starts in March and then with all of the, the uh, you know, the, the news and stuff, you can see that there was a drop in traffic here shortly, but now it's on an upward trend and I'm earning revenue every time somebody comes to my website, gets information and clicks on ads. So this is just one website example here and you can see that the trend is not going down, the trend is going up and this fits exactly with the previous stats where I'm showing that really it's it's only gonna grow from here I think and it's gonna get better and better for people who are building their businesses online so what I'm gonna talk about today is a 90-day plan for anyone to start building themselves something that can make consistent money online I'm not gonna be going into this presentation just showing you one-off methods I do that on my YouTube channel you can check it out at dayjobhacks.com I do show some paid traffic uh, one-off methods where you can go to a traffic source and buy traffic to a landing page and you know try and convert and arbitrage but today we're going to talk about the business model where you need to focus if you want something that is going to last forever something that you can rely on when times are tough and that is exactly what I'm going to show today how to build a long-term and stable sellable online business with various monetization strategies implemented into this so we're building an asset not just a campaign here. If you compare it to building an offline property, it is pretty much the same thing, but now we're building it digitally. So let me just get a few things out of the way. This obviously isn't for anyone who is lazy and looking to get rich quick. Um, you can make money while we're building here and there are ways to do that, but if you are spreading your brain power too thin trying to find a quick hit to make money, this isn't going to work for you. You really need to focus on this for the next 90 days. Um, people who quit after their first failure are not gonna succeed with this. And people who are not willing to learn basic computer skills and learn through the challenges it takes to you know, set up a blog, set up your WordPress site, set up your hosting, all of that stuff, very basic stuff. I'll show you where to get that information. But um, that is stuff that you really need to be able to do yourself. Now this is a, a picture of you know what you could probably look like after you've done all the work. You could probably go to work looking like this. Um, I've done it myself. In fact, I'm drinking my coffee right now and I'm wearing um, you know my, my pajama bottoms. Um, it's great that you can build a lifestyle like that after you put in the time and the work and the effort. But for now, um, if you're just starting out, you need to be prepared to put in some serious work. Quickly, who I am for anyone that's just tuning in to me and hasn't seen the YouTube channel or any other of the previous trainings. I'm Joey Babineau. I started affiliate marketing in 2002. Quit my corporate government job in 2015. I worked there for 12 years. I was earning uh, roughly $50,000 a year from that job. And um, finally made the decision in 2015 after 13 years of working in affiliate marketing and trying to make money online i had finally built some websites that were actually generating consistent daily revenue i was confident enough that i could leave a fifty thousand dollar a year job and continue to earn that money forever it is now uh you know many years later and i'm still very happy with that decision I, in 2014, created Powerhouse Affiliate and started training people on how to do the exact same thing. A lot of people in my family, my friends, wanted to know exactly how I was making money online. I tried to explain to them in person, I just couldn't do it. Um, it was very hard and difficult to explain, so I created the training platform and have constantly been adding and improving the content inside to make sure it is completely relevant answering everyone's questions on how to do that. Over 90,000, actually close to 100,000 people now, um, this slide is just a little bit old, have come through and done the free training. We've also had several thousand people join the premium training. And uh, I've also spent millions in online advertising on many different platforms. And you can see a lot of that training inside um, when you get into the CPA training, the email marketing and all of that stuff that, I, uh, that we provided inside Powerhouse Affiliate. So the beauty of this is that you can earn money with or without owning a product. A lot of people are, are not comfortable in building their own products. I have built my own products, but at the same time, I make more money by promoting other people's products. My products include ebooks and training. The Powerhouse Affiliate track, uh, the Powerhouse Affiliate training platform is a product of mine. People join and I make money from that, but my majority of revenue comes from AdSense and affiliate marketing, buying traffic, uh, collecting emails, and sending those people to real legitimate content, okay? So it involves affiliate marketing, email list building, blog posting, creating mon uh, a monetization mechanism on your blog so that you can get money out of your blog, um, either through AdSense or selling ad space and really creating a well 
greased machine that keeps working no matter whether you're sleeping or awake as long as you have content out there on the internet you're going to be able to tap in to people finding your content and if it's built properly you can actually earn money while you sleep so the question we ask ourselves how do we make consistent income online it's constantly changing the industry is always changing we're always looking and we're seeing new opportunities there are people doing many different things out there there's drop shipping there's Amazon fulfillment there is email marketing just a whole slew of different ideas you could do so how do you consistently make income online well it comes down to providing value to an audience you need to find out who your audience is and you need to provide value it also comes down to monetizing your visitors so when people come to your website you need to monetize that traffic they need a reason to come back to your website and we're going to talk about that here now the last thing you need to own your traffic what I mean by that is you need to build yourself an email list or a push subscribers list or an organic following by ranking your website in search engines this is how you own your traffic and this is how you have something at the end of the day that you can actually sell by buying paid traffic and sending it to a landing page you are not building anything you're not owning the traffic unless at some point in that campaign you have a way of capturing the users data somehow or having them come back to your website so one single website with unstoppable income and traffic streams that is what we're working on today focus your time on one single project put everything else aside this is how it's going to work for you if you really want to see any traction and progress everything happens by snowball effect you build your site, focus on it, focus on your audience, give them what they need, monetize it with affiliate products, AdSense revenue, and email revenue, and lastly, blog post revenue. These are going to be the ways you can start without a product, and now you can start generating multiple streams of income, and we'll set those up separately as we continue to build this, and all of these pieces can make you money. Now lastly, once you have this website built and it's starting to accumulate some, some growth and you're starting to get traffic and you're seeing sales and you're seeing conversions, you're seeing revenue, what is stopping you from creating your own product? And this is exactly what I did when I started back in the day with a diet website. I created a diet website. It was all around diet, um, how to lose weight, um, how to, you know, whatever. Every, you know what I mean. I'm talking about weight loss. I created a blog around weight loss and realized that I was selling another company's product that I could have easily created myself. It was a supplement. And so I learned how to build a supplement product and I ended up building my own supplement product and having it ship out and having you know customer service and I realized at the time well you know I really don't think I want to do that but it was an opportunity for me that I was able to do because I owned my website traffic I had consistent traffic coming in so I have very you know unlimited options to to monetize that traffic so I decided at that point in time I sold the company and now I focused on a new niche and topic that is more digital. So we're gonna talk about digital versus you know physical products here in a minute, but digital products is where I've moved my focus so that now I can create a product such as Powerhouse Affiliate or another ebook that I've created on another topic altogether where I can sell that ebook to my audience that I've already generated and built over time by creating really solid content for people and an email marketing list. So here's the plan, okay? Um, really, it comes down to the basics. This is common sense stuff that you're gonna see in pretty much any type of online training around how to make money online. You need to choose a niche, otherwise known as your audience, who you're gonna cater to, okay? Who are the people that you want to help? You know something that other people don't. There's something in your life that you are good at. There is, you know, maybe you're a really good uh, soccer player. Maybe you really love pets and animals. Maybe you are good at fishing. Um, you're a hockey player, you know the best equipment to use as a hockey player, you play guitar maybe. All of these things are things that you have that other people don't have. 
And these are the things that you can focus on as your niche and it'll be interesting to you to build because you're actually going to know your audience. This is a great strategy. Now, in other trainings I've done, I've said, okay, maybe you don't really need to know your niche. Maybe you can just go and buy traffic to a website and try and convert that. Yes, that works as well too. But really, if you're just looking to build a business that you're really going to enjoy, then really pick a niche that you are interested in or that you at least have some basic knowledge in. You do not have to be an expert in your niche. You can actually just be one step ahead of your audience, okay? That's a very common analogy. People talk about it all the time. As long as you're one step ahead of your audience, so you do the research and then share it with your audience, you can build a website that is an expert in that particular niche. Next is the traffic strategy. We're gonna talk about that as well. I'm gonna show you a couple places to get free and paid traffic. Free traffic is probably a great way for most people to start because you're gonna learn all of the essentials in getting traffic. And then the monetization strategy. As you can see from this graphic, um, once I have a website built, I'm focusing on getting cost per sale offers, cost per acquisition, which is CPA, I can generate traffic to pages dedicated to selling something or getting leads for another business while at the same time collecting data for myself, sending out emails to my own blog posts, and then generating revenue with AdSense. Also creating videos, which I do for the Day Job Hacks project. Videos, AdSense posts, collecting data, and running cost per sale offers. Okay, so I'm gonna show you that in detail now. But first, here's how to handle niche marketing. Choose something that is evergreen, meaning it's going to be here forever. Weight loss is a great example. Love and relationships, how to make money, how to play guitar. These are all evergreen niches. The best soccer equipment, how to walk your dog, how to make sure your dog doesn't run away. Here's a great tool that we use that our dog doesn't run away. It's a GPS tracking device and this is why you need one. All of that kind of stuff is something that you can focus on. There's just really an endless opportunity of niches that you can get into. And the way you're going to get traffic is basically by people finding your information. So the more information you provide on the internet that's live and out there, the more likely it's going to be found by people. So if you build it, people will find it. And there's strategies to do that. There's keyword research, all of that kind of stuff as you continue to build this. But make sure you build something that is not going to be um, out of date in one year from now. For example, I've chosen this niche, which is Make Money Online, affiliate marketing. It has been around before I even started in 2002, and it will be around probably for the next thousand years, depending, uh, it'll be definitely past my lifetime that affiliate marketing will still be relevant. It's completely evergreen niche. It's just one of those topics that will always be relevant. Now you need something that you can offer value in, okay? so. Something you are good at. There's, you're gonna think like, geez, I don't know anything I'm good at. There's, there's really anything. You can think of anything in your house, looking around your house, your bedroom, your, your backyard. Maybe you're really good at gardening. Maybe you, you know, you're good at fixing bicycles. A whole bunch of different stuff. Boating. Maybe you, you, you are good at changing the oil in your truck. It's always going to be a way that you can provide value to people. And over the 90 day challenge, you're going to see how to find topics and questions in your niche that you can answer through content and by building simple pieces of content or getting someone else to do it for you. Maybe you're like, dude, I do not want to get into creating a whole bunch of content. I just want to make money. That is fine. There are ways to do it so that other people are doing it for you. In fact, I do that on one of my niche websites where I'm making money, enough money from one email blast to the list to pay for somebody to create three pieces of content. So every time they create a piece of content, I send out another email, it's scheduled, it's automatic, and it just brings in money. So making sure that the, the posts are valuable and they actually do provide insight into what the person is actually searching for. So we all have this in ourselves. It's just a matter of finding it. Do your research. Go on a, you know, a Zen uh, retreat somewhere in your backyard or go have a, a shower and think about it. You're, gonna, it's, you're just going to think about it one day and you're going to be like, damn, that's the best opportunity right there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to build myself a business around that or a website around that particular topic. Now, if you're still stuck, there is a webinar. If you check below this video, there will be a link to it right below this video where I've done a complete webinar showing you exact niches that I've built, 
exact niches I've failed, how I find niche ideas. It's a complete uh, detailed description of how to do this. So I'm not gonna go into this anymore on this presentation. Okay, to put this into perspective, I wanted to show a couple quick examples of projects that I'm currently working on or have worked on. Um, this one here is dayjobhacks.com. It's a blog around affiliate marketing. It's built on WordPress and also uses Optimized Press 3.0 for email capture. And as you can see on this website, I've created what is called an opt-in form, as well as there is also a script in here that asks people to join my push subscribers list if they come to the main page. It links to my YouTube channel, which is a traffic generation um, strategy. I use YouTube to get traffic to this website as well as other websites I own. And I have the success blog on here linked out as well. So then you can see that I've created content on here. Now, most of this content is written by myself or at least reviewed by me. Um, and then <clears throat> it is monetized as well with the AdSense um, AdSense code. So I've used plugins and all that kind of stuff on the WordPress setup to, to plug in AdSense. And I also have the opportunity for people here to get my book for free. So I've created this ebook and you can get it for free. So this is a way of getting people to your blog. People are searching for how to make money online. They find this in their Google search result. They, all of these posts are dedicated to specific keywords, free affiliate tools. Maybe somebody's looking for free affiliate tools. My article will come up in the Google search results or on YouTube and they will come over to this website. Whereas you can see every now and then there are some ads, but at the same time, um, there are product descriptions here. I'm doing a, a, a comparison of Aweber versus MailChimp. This is a product that I use in my niche, in my category, and I can make money by promoting these types of products if I do some really good content. Now, you're probably thinking to yourself, damn, I don't wanna be the face of my website. I don't wanna have my picture on here. I don't wanna be doing videos. I don't want anybody to know what I'm doing. And trust me, that is exactly how most of the people feel when it comes to making money online, and you do not have to be the face of your website or the face of your business. I'm gonna show you an example of that. For example, here's another website I've created called the 25 Day Keto Challenge. I use it a lot in my uh, training because it works. It's another lead capture type of page where the first page people arrive on is the lead capture. They start the challenge and they are asked to enter their email and they can start learning about keto, the diet keto, okay? Coming down, you can see that there's also a blog. You, none of these posts have my picture in there. These are all pictures and articles written by someone else. I did not write these articles. I hired somebody to write the articles. And at the same time, we're collecting emails by buying traffic to the lead capture form. There is a complete webinar. There is a complete case study, I should say, on this exact website, how we got leads into this funnel, how we are monetizing it in the back end, again, using AdSense, as well as selling ClickBank products. So this is an example of a way that you can create a website. And so now let's get into how you can do this for yourself. Okay, so the tools basically that you're going to need to set this up are hosting, WordPress, and a custom or free theme. In my case, I use Liquid Web, but you can also use Bluehost. WordPress is for free. If you, if you use Bluehost, it will help you set up WordPress pretty much instantly. If you go to dayjobhacks.com slash Bluehost, you can actually get this set up within minutes. Now there is some more training at the end of this presentation. I'm going to show you where you can get access to it for absolutely free that you can use to help yourself set this up properly with the correct tracking and procedures that you need to take to get your website set up. The first couple days in your 90 day challenge should be around just setting up your hosting, setting up your WordPress, setting up your domain name, which will be the name that you're, you're going to be using for when you know people come to your website, whatever .com you choose, that'll be done through when you set up your hosting account. When you go to Bluehost, you can actually just enter in any type of name you want for your domain name. So keep in mind that this project, building a long-term website with a lot of content is a long-term project. You're not going to see results within a few months. You're gonna see results in a year. So this is why all of the training we provide talks about paid traffic and organic traffic, which we're talking about right now, which is organic traffic. I'm gonna talk about paid traffic strategies as well in this presentation, but just keep in mind that this part of building your website is the long-term approach. And this, the longer you put into this, the more energy and effort you put into it, 
the more consistent results you will have. Most people actually quit before they ever see results. It's going to take you a few months to get to the point where you're going to want to quit. And if you get past those few months of creating content consistently for 90 days, you will see results. So here is the traffic strategy. We're going to focus on organic traffic, paid traffic, and repeat visitors. Most people starting out do not want to invest in paid traffic, and I actually do not recommend it if you are just starting out, unless, of course, you have a lot of money you are able to use um, or lose, basically. So buying paid traffic without really understanding how traffic works, how the audience needs to see certain results before they start buying things, um, it's just not going to work well for you. That is why I always recommend people start by building their website. Look for organic ways of making traffic, either through search engine optimization, by building nice, valuable posts that people will share on social media, and collect email subscribers by getting people to come to your email list and joining your content, create and joining your newsletter so that they get more content that you can share with them. The better your content, the more likely people are going to return to your website. Now here is a picture of one website that I'm working on. Um, and basically what I'm saying here is you need a steady stream of tra uh, you need a steady stream of website traffic to make money. And as you can see, getting new visitors is going to be mostly how, mu how you get traffic, new traffic. That's cold traffic. But you need to create a website where you can make this green returning visitor piece of the pie to start getting bigger and bigger, okay? 11% um, is still pretty good. 11% uh, of the people that come to this website are coming back, either through an email that I've sent out or from a um, you know social media. They see it on social media again, or they just basically come back and look for more content. So to get those people to return to your website, you need a way to capture them, and that's either with really, really good content Either you capture their email address or you get them as a push subscriber. So let's talk about the types of content that we need to create on our blog so that people actually do find us and people come back to our website. The first one that we focus on a lot is how to's, how to do this, how to play guitar, how to tie a salmon fly, how to mow my lawn, how to plant carrots. All of these things are things that you can do in your niche, whatever it may be, and you're going to create how-to articles, roughly a thousand words a piece at least, and they're going to be focused on a keyword and a question that people would ask. Now there's also free guides. The one that I showed you on Day Job Hacks is a free guide. It's a guide that explains the exact strategies I'm showing in this video basically on how to make money online. It's a how-to free guide and people can get it if they enter their email address. Success stories are extremely valuable. These are the things that convert. So if you have a product or a service that you are trying to sell and you have a post showing how somebody used this product and created success in whatever they were doing, maybe it's even like a drill or a tool that they used to build the most beautiful uh, tree house. It doesn't matter. Whatever it is, if they had success using this product, it is going to convert well for you. So create those stories and use products in your story, affiliate products that you can find, and we'll talk about where to get those in a second. And basically, these are the types of things you want on your blog. So while you're creating your 90 days of content, you should have all of these available on your blog. Listicles is another great one. I've done a complete video on YouTube that uh, will be linked below as well about um, how to create listicles, why they're extremely effective. So for example, 12 guitars that I think would be perfect for a rock band. Those are 12 products that you can promote in one single article or post. It's just a, a great way of getting information out there. Viral shareable posts. These are kind of like clickbait. Um, if you can find topics in your niche that people will share on social media and that you know people would, would comment on or be like, oh my gosh, I totally get it, all that kind of stuff, and you share it on social media, people are going to share it as well, and you're going to get free traffic from that, um, assuming that it's, it's really good content. Um, another great place that this works is on Pinterest. 
if you have something um, like listicles and viral posts, work well on Pinterest as well. Pinterest, Facebook, Twitter, whatever, uh, whatever you use for social media. Videos, I love videos. I'm, I, that's where I've moved a lot of my focus for, for this project, in particular, Day Job Hacks. I've created the YouTube channel, uh, making money from those videos, but at the same time, getting sales to my own product through videos and how-to videos. People um, enjoy watching these, and, and it's great. It's a great way to make content, and I actually hired somebody to create blog posts from my videos, so I don't have to do all the blog posts. I don't have to do all the listicles or the success stories. I can just do the videos, focus on my piece, and get someone else to do the other stuff while... Um, you know, I'm focusing on building other parts of my business. So before you start creating content, you need to really think about where you can add value. I talked about it earlier. Where are you able to, you know, help people? If the more helpful you are and the more information you're giving to people, the more you're going to have people coming back. So you need to find an audience who needs information. There are audience, there's actually hundreds and thousands of audiences out there who need information. They're constantly going to YouTube, they're going to search engines like Google and Bing, and they're searching for information, and that is the information you need to make available online so that they find it when they do the search. That is how you get free organic traffic. So how do you know if you can help people? Well, we all have an ability. That is just what I talked about earlier. You need to find that ability and then if you're not sure, then just come and ask us, okay? So to rank in Google or YouTube, you must focus on keywords. In other words, to rank in the results, you have to have a website or a video or a blog post that caters to people on a specific topic. If you start spreading your information all around different topics and niches on your website, you are going to get nowhere. I talked about that in my webinar that I just shared earlier about niche selection. When I first started, I was creating these giant websites about just about everything, like dieting, we'll say. Just a big, broad topic about dieting. It didn't work at all. And then in the last example I showed you where I focused on just the keto diet, it was so much easier to get results when you focus on a narrow topic and you focus all of your keywords on that topic. And Google will reward those types of websites more so than the broad general websites that are going to take you multiple years and months worth of content to create. Okay, Google wants to give people results that are specific to their search. And they, they reward sites that are based around that specific search. So whatever the intent of the user is, you need to make sure that that's what you're doing on your website. So how do you know what keywords to target? Well, there are many, many strategies on that. This isn't going to be about how to get keywords and all that stuff, but I will tell you the easiest way and the most uh, affordable way, which is to just use Google itself. Google is the one we are trying to, to rank for, so use Google and its tools to give you the information you need to, to find out what types of content you should be creating over your 90-day challenge. If you're writing, uh, um, if you're doing a, a website about let's say electronics, then the best Bluetooth speaker could be a, a keyword. But if you look here, you want long tail keywords because they're easier to rank for. So check out bless, best Bluetooth speaker under 100. That is a great type of post that you could write, uh, a listicle that could say something like five of the best Bluetooth speakers under $100. That is the type of content you want on your website. People are searching for it. You know they are because Google has suggested that they are searching that. Just go into Google now and type in one keyword related to your niche and you'll see that it suggests all these keywords that people are already searching for. Write down, say, 30 to 60 different keywords that you think you want to focus on for your content, whether it's videos or posts or listicles or whatever else you're doing, advertorials and then head on over to the Google search ads platform. So sign up for Google search ads. It's absolutely free. In fact, they will give you $100 in free credit if you join their ad platform. Simply give them your email, your address, sign up, and within a, a, a week or so, they will give you $100 in free ad credits that you're gonna use later. Don't use it right now if you're just starting out. Don't waste your 100 bucks. Build your content first because I've talked about it before. Do not run Google ads as an affiliate marketer unless you watched my video on YouTube that describes how to do that properly or you will lose your Google ads account. But on this note, come into 
Google Ads and click on the tools and then choose the keyword planner tool. Enter in the ideas that you have for what kind of, kind of content you want to write and see how many searches that gets every single month. Um, and see and make sure that people are actually searching for it and you can see if it's high competition or low competition and then you want to make sure that you're trying to find some low competition long tail keywords which basically means a lot like a, a long tail keyword has like many words in it so instead of just soccer shoes it would be the best soccer shoes for my teenage daughter or something like that okay that is a long tail keyword versus just soccer shoes and those types of keywords a lot of people aren't focusing on and you want to take those and focus on those yourself so that your blog starts to show up in the Google search results, the YouTube results, and whatever else you're using. Sometimes once you've created your website and you have everything set up the way you want, you, you, you wonder what should I actually be doing? Like what can I do and write about? You run out of ideas. I do this on my YouTube channel. So one tool I highly recommend is to check out alsoasked.com. This is a great tool to come up with ideas. If you type in whatever keyword you want in this box and hit search, it is going to give you a plethora of questions and that people are already asking related to your niche. Again, you can take those results, take them into the Google Keyword Planner, see if anything is happening. Now, one more strategy I wanna talk about quickly is using a tool called SEMrush. It is probably one of the best platforms, in my opinion, um, next to Ahrefs, which is another one. But uh, if you go to dayjobhacks.com slash SEMrush, you can go in there for free for seven days and check out their platform. Type in your search for whatever niche you want to focus on. It's going to bring you up all of your competitors, all of the keywords they are focusing on, what is the, the rankability, so how difficult it is for you to actually rank for those keywords, all of the stuff you need to know before you start creating content inside of your niche. Now you're probably asking, okay, I have everything done, but I really suck at SEO, search engine optimization. I have no idea what I should be doing when I'm actually creating content. Well, there is a free plugin. It's called the Yoast plugin. I recently switched from Rank Math to the Yoast plugin. I think it's a little better for me to use. It is a plugin that basically gives you a checklist on every single post you create inside WordPress. It is free to install. Just go into your WordPress settings and choose plugins, add new, and then search for the Yoast plugin and install it. Every time you write content now, this plugin will tell you how to properly optimize your post. I've also done another video on YouTube regarding the 20 point checklist for any blog post you create on your blog. So I cannot stress this enough. You need to capture emails on your blog or at least capture push subscribers with a tool like OneSignal or whatever else. Now I use Aweber. Here's one of my Aweber sites currently with 28,000 active subscribers. I'm constantly cleaning my active subscriber list with people that do not open emails so that my inbox delivery rates remain high. Now there are a ton of different strategies on how to capture emails and how to set up your inbox um, automation and all of that stuff. It is all completely covered inside the email marketing training course that we have inside Powerhouse Affiliate, which is the level two course inside Powerhouse Affiliate. So you can go in there and check out the entire course similar to um, what you're you're watching now, which will explain everything you need to know about how to set up your autoresponder, collect emails, how to set up your lead capture pages, like this page here that I showed you. It's going to show you the tools. The uh, I use Optimize Press here, how to plug that in so that it's just a one-click install, and now you've got this beautiful form that gets people to enter their email onto your website. So the tools required for that will be Optimize Press 3.0 and Aweber if you want it to look professional and highly uh, relevant to today's day and age. Now you don't have to buy Optimize Press 3.0 and you don't have to buy Aweber, but if you do, I would recommend using my links so that you get your free um, trials. So you would go to dayjobhacks.com slash Optimize Press and dayjobhacks.com slash Aweber um, and you'll get uh, special discounts there. Now, these are obviously tools that I use in my daily business. I am also an affiliate for those tools. And as you can see, I hope the wheels are turning for you and churning and understanding how it is that I make money online and how you can do the exact same thing in any single niche online, okay? Um, so just keep that in mind.
So why should you build a list? Well, you get your return visitors. Remember that little pie chart I showed earlier? It is going to start getting bigger and bigger the more emails you send out. Just be careful how you send emails and when you send them and all of that kind of stuff. Again, described in that new in that other course about email marketing that we have inside Powerhouse Affiliate. Um, having an email list, it becomes personal. You can actually um, build trust and get people to convert better if you own it, okay? So you are owning the traffic. This is the beauty of it. Now you have something valuable. When you go to sell your business and you say, I have 28,000 email subscribers, that brings the price level up. It brings the serious level, uh, it brings the serious factor up. People want to buy a website that already has an audience. Now you own it, you can sell it. I could go ahead and sell the, the website for say 30 to 50 times multiple as I've described in earlier videos. Uh, you make more money. It's just plain and simple. You make more money if you have an email list. And also, especially in times like now where traffic is kind of volatile, okay? There's just paid traffic. It, it works sometimes and sometimes it doesn't work. If you have an email list, you can just rest assured at night. But tomorrow morning, you can send another email and make money because you have a list and you're providing value to them. As long as you're not spamming them and sending them a bunch of crap, they're gonna stay on your list. It can be automated. This is the beauty of AWeber. Using AWeber tools and automation, when somebody joins my list, they get a seven-day series of emails talking about my product, talking about how I can help them. But then after that, they get broadcasts of real, legit content every single week with new and engaging content that can, they can read and help them with their business or inside whatever they're doing in their niche. It's the same applies for any other niche. The, the weight loss site, if you join the list, you'll see that Emails come every few days regarding how to lose weight, tips on how to use keto and all that kind of stuff. So it's just a, it's an automated system once you start building it out. So here's my easy content creation solution. Basically, you can either hire or you can create it yourself. If you're going to hire people to create your content, it's going to cost you an investment up front. I've done a complete case study or actually started a case study on the YouTube channel where you can see me where I've hired somebody to create content because I have an email list. I can actually offset the cost of building that content because I just, every time that writer builds the content, I send an email to the list automatically and I make all of that money back and more by people clicking on the AdSense ads. So the site is technically building itself for a profit basically. So I'm getting a ton of content being out there on the internet, valuable content being sent to the subscribers while at the same time, every time it's sent out, I have enough, enough money or more to hire him to write another article. I also use the AdSense plugin. There are plugins for WordPress free that you can use to plug that into your website. So every time you create the content, you can AdSense it or you can use other alternatives. There are native ad alternatives and a whole bunch of other ones. I'll probably do a video about that some other day. Um, as well as you wanna mail the post out to your list. If it's a good piece of um, information and it's not just written for search engine optimization, you should be sending it to your list or at least scheduling it to go out maybe two or three times a week if you can. Two messages a week, um, three tops in my opinion, just so that your list doesn't get uh, burnt out. So let's do some quick math so you understand how this is all going to work for you as you continue down the 90 day challenge. Let's say you have one blog post about guitars and in the post you're trying to sell a guitar training course for a $40 commission show you where to get those types of courses and all that kind of stuff in a second here. But getting 10 visitors a day is pretty easy if you focus on the long tail keywords I was talking about and you start building um, backlinks to your website or getting people to, to link to it on social media or going on your Facebook page that you've created for this or creating a Reddit account and creating a Twitter account and having them all linking back to your website. This helps a lot in getting people to find your site. So getting 10 people, just 10 people a day to one blog post, say that's your goal for a blog post. <clears throat> if you provide real engaging content, people are going to share that. So an example would be how to play all of the major chords on a guitar. I'm sure tons of people are searching that, how to play the major chords on a guitar. Let's say you get 300 people a month to your website with just a 1% conversion rate, which is very conservative. Even with a 1% conversion rate at a $40 commission, you're gonna make $120 US per post on your blog, okay? So it comes down to why stop at one post, okay? If you wanna make $3,000 a month or $100 a day, you need at least 30 pieces of content that do that. 30 pieces of content that get 10 visitors per day. 
If you think about it that way, it's a lot more easier to manage inside your brain so that you don't think that this is some big task, okay? Focus on one piece, and remember though, you're not going to see 10 people sign up or come to your website the next day. It's gonna take months. That is why this is the 90-day challenge. In fact, it should be the 180-day or the 365-day challenge because that's what really it's going to take. About a year of consistent building of content. You can even see that when I go into one of my videos on YouTube talking about how I built the YouTube channel. It took me a year to get monetized on that channel. Now it's bringing in some great revenue, like almost $2,000 a month now, but... It's not just from the YouTube um, monetization, it's from the, the way I did the videos and the way I created the content and the affiliate marketing that's been done with the descriptions and all that kind of stuff. So it does take time to build that momentum, but if I was to stop now, it would be a complete waste of all that time and all I committed was two videos per week. And if you can do the same thing for your blog, commit to three, four, five pieces of content per week. If you can, you're going to see much faster results. So over the next 90 days, commit to 30 pieces of great content, and that is the bare minimum. If you can do 60 pieces of content in 90 days, then that is way better. But if you can just do one every three days, you're going to be well ahead of the curve on most people trying to accomplish this for themselves, okay? So how do you know if you're creating great content? Well, you can simply come into the Powerhouse Affiliate Forum. Before you start creating all this content, write a post, create a piece of content, a listicle, whatever it is, come into the forum and say, hey, I just built this website, I think it's a great idea, blah, 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 people do that all the time. What do you think uh, I should be doing? Is this a good type of post I can do? And you're gonna start to see how people question and ask you, okay, well, did you think about this? Or did you, did you do that? And all that stuff, all of that information is constructive criticism. It's going to help you be a better marketer. It's gonna help you build a better audience and build yourself a bigger email list and something that you can actually sell at the end of the day. So I wanted to end this presentation with the monetization strategy. As you can see, I left that till the end. I didn't talk about affiliate products. I didn't talk about a whole bunch of other little things that you can do, but let's talk about how you're going to monetize Monetize this over time okay my favorite way to monetize is using affiliate products plus AdSense the reason I love affiliate products obviously is because I do not have to create a supply chain I do not have to create a call center where people are taking calls I leave that to the product owners and all I have to focus on is the traffic also with affiliate marketing if we think about what happened in early 2020 with the coronavirus all of these companies that were, you know, just kind of shut down because they supply they were they were reliant on one supplier, one product and all of that kind of stuff. As an affiliate, I had the flexibility to just pick up and go anywhere at that point in time and focus on another product. I was testing multiple different paid traffic channels with multiple different advertorials, different ads, different strategies on how to collect emails in certain niches because there was just so much opportunity. That is why you can see my traffic numbers were going up, my conversions were going up at the same time nothing was going down on my end because I had other sites, the niche sites that will just constantly make money um, depending on obviously the topic, but the topics I chose were nothing related to a world pandemic or anything that would have been um, affected by that, okay? So affiliates plus AdSense, in my opinion, is the best way to build this for yourself. Later on, if you decide that you want to create a product, yes, absolutely, look at digital marketing products. And where do you get digital marketing products? Well, number one is ClickBank. Again, done videos on YouTube related to ClickBank. One may pop up right now. ClickBank is the leader of digital products online. You can go there now into the marketplace and find multiple different products to promote. But at the same time, if you see a gap and there's a product that isn't there, it might be an opportunity for you in your niche to create a product that you can sell through ClickBank. You can either be a vendor or you can be an affiliate. I am both. I have a product on ClickBank, but at the same time, I also am an affiliate. The product I have there is powerhouseaffiliate.com, just so you know, and it is a recurring commission product that any affiliate can go there and join and start promoting. While at the same time, I'm promoting other products in the diet niche, in the make money online niche, in the, the, the dating niche, all of these different niches that I focus on can be applied uh, and grabbed from ClickBank. Now, there are other places. CJ.com is a great one if you are looking for branded offers, uh, software, business to business, all that kind of stuff. Um, and another uh, place that you can check out is MaxWeb. 
They are good for finding more digital products, supplements, also blood pressure stuff that we've uh, we've been promoting on one of our case studies is uh, from Max Web. And then there's Cell Health, which is another platform I started on way back in the uh, early 2009, maybe several years ago. Okay, I started on Cell Health which was a bunch of products uh, like that you can buy and order online, I would make a very decent commission. So if you're looking to get into the health-related niche, um, MaxWeb, Cell Health, ClickBank are all great ones for that. And then what I've been actually focus on, focusing on a lot lately is direct affiliate programs. So I form direct relationships with the people that I'm selling their products for. So I've started to really steer away from networks unless I really have a solid relationship with the affiliate managers like CPA networks, for example, uh, cost per acquisition. We have an entire course on cost per acquisition marketing that you're going to learn later um, if you continue through some of the training at Powerhouse Affiliate. Um, we have a full course on cost per acquisition, which is another way to monetize your website traffic. It's really easy, and that's where you get into the paid traffic strategies um, after. So first, We'll talk about owning the traffic, then I'm going to talk about paid traffic. So you can start exploring, once you own the traffic, the possibility of building your own products for your own niche. As I mentioned, you can sell your business at this point, and you can test different things like AdSense, and you can basically monetize it forever. You can start building more properties similar to the one you have so that you have a portfolio of websites. But don't go on to the next project until you've either completely failed at the first one or you think that you've capped out and now that you can just hire somebody to manage and maintain it for you. Don't have like three different websites on the go thinking that's a good idea because you're just going to get yourself burned out. It's not going to work for you. Um, so how can you make money faster? That is the... I'm going to... I'm going to finish off with some paid traffic stuff. Paid traffic is the way to go. I've done multiple courses on paid traffic. It is one of the places that I focus mainly on now is paid traffic because I like to see the fast results. Most of the content creation now comes from people that I've hired to take over that part of the business. Um, so in order to sell stuff or capture an email with, with paid traffic in particular, you do need a way to show people that you have what they need immediately. And this is done by creating high converting landing pages. So basically, landing pages are a key component of paid traffic. But at the same time, you're going to be funneling all of your free traffic from your blog to a landing page. In my case on Day Job Hacks, a lot of the traffic is funneled either over to Powerhouse Affiliates landing page or to the Day Job Hacks main page, which is the email capture. Again, so I've, I've got two goals in mind. It's either to sell a product or to get them on the list, but at the same time, always providing real solid value. I don't hide the fact that I'm an affiliate. I don't hide the fact that I'm trying to get them to join my course if they want to you know, spend $19 to get more really in-depth training. Um, I think that's a fair price, and I think um, that is how you need to be with your audience, is be upfront and, and give them what they want and need. So in the last couple of years, four years actually, I've generated really uh, roughly $8 million in revenue with a combination of both paid ads and the organic returning traffic. So um, it, it's definitely something that has worked really well for me. I use paid ads from, <clears throat> from Google, Facebook, Bing, Yahoo, Native Ads, and more. I've done case studies on each of these traffic sources, and I do more all the time when I have time. So I'm focusing mainly on these traffic sources right now. I've spent millions on ads by reinvesting the profits into more ads, okay? So scaling my campaigns, you're not going to see me driving a Lambo anytime soon. In fact, I never will actually be one of those guys driving a Lamborghini. I am very modest. Um, I wear the same t-shirt in all my videos, as you can see, but it's a branding exercise. So if, if you, if you want to comment that how is he making all this money if he's wearing the same shirt or if he's wearing you know the same uh, shoes, whatever, I don't really care about that. I don't spend my money ridiculously trying to uh, you know show people that this is a success story. Basically, um, when, you, when you make money online, you need to really think about reinvesting it back into your business or into offline businesses. So get it profitable, get some money coming in, but do not go just spend it on whatever. You need to think about outsourcing and getting people to create more content because it comes down to getting content and getting traffic consistently forever. And that is what you're building now. So if you want to start with paid traffic, I suggest you go to Google. But again, watch my video on YouTube that talks about Google traffic first, okay? Or if you want to avoid any types of penalties at first and you want to kind of take the easy, just you know, take the small steps first, then try out Bing ads first. 
Um, they're te te usually a little more lenient in terms of you know letting affiliates run traffic to um, their websites from there. But really, you should start by just getting a lot of good content on your website, and that is what you're going to need anyway on all of these major traffic platforms. You need to have good content um, on your on your website before you can actually start buying traffic to it. Uh, with with exception to native ads, they pretty much let anything go. And it's great for CPA affiliate marketers, especially um, as you'll see in some of the, the case studies. So let's talk about my two main paid traffic strategies and they look like this. This is the lead capture funnel. I've shown case studies in the Facebook case study inside Powers Affiliate as well as the email course and the CPA course on how this funnel can work well. Um, wh whether you're running CPA affiliate offers with paid traffic, whether you're trying to just capture emails and do email follow-ups, or whether you're trying to be compliant with Facebook and not break their rules on the front end, then you can do what is called a lead capture funnel. And that is exactly what this is. So you send traffic to a lead capture page. A lead capture page is just something like what I showed you at dayjobhacks.com, where you're going to just try and get somebody to enter their email for a piece of information or something you're going to give them back. Then you deliver an instant offer right after they click on OK. Um, on the day job hacks example, if you were to join that list, you would see that I don't actually offer a delivery or a tripwire there. I in fact tell people that I'm not going to give them an offer because everyone else is doing that. So that is the unique way you can test your funnel. Maybe try and build trust first saying, look, you would normally get an offer right now, but today you're not going to get an offer. In fact, you're just going to get what you asked for. So check out below and blah, blah, blah. Okay. Or you can try a tripwire right immediately and say, Hey, thanks for joining my list. Um, check out this really cool case study or this really cool success story um, and that is what I've done in the Facebook case study um, you'll see I used the 25 day keto challenge and then it goes to other stuff it goes to uh, different products later and all that kind of stuff so there's different ways to do this funnel so that is strategy number one the other strategy is very straightforward it is the traffic to lander strategy everybody loves the traffic to lander strategy you can make a ton of money sending traffic to a landing page and just going for that quick hit cost per sale either cost per acquisition offer or you're you know sending it to a, a an advertorial or a listicle or a just a straight up uh, aggressive diet lander all of these things work extremely well for making money if you add in a pop under or you collect a push subscriber or you put in a back script or you add in email captures somewhere on that page you can again collect data while you're still making money on the front end with CPA affiliate offers this is all described in detail in the advanced trainings in the CPA course in the case studies in the webinars inside powerhouse affiliate but this is the strategy Basically, you can make a ton of money, but it is very risky, okay? Um, doing paid traffic is short-term and risky. I do not recommend this if you want consistent daily revenue, um, and it's not something that is for the faint of heart, especially for CPA affiliates. It's highly aggressive, and, and you're, you're competing with so many different people that it is constant stealing, constant theft of your landing pages. People are stealing your ads. People are just constantly on the lookout to take what's yours, okay? So it's aggressive. You need to be a fighter. And that is why building a real long-term niche website by building email lists is awesome because nobody can really steal it from you. You own it. Nobody wants to put in the time and effort to do it. And that is something you need to focus on. But it's not saying that you should not at least try paid traffic once you have something built, you can start testing landing pages through your own website that has content. So there's lots of fake clicks in paid traffic, um, lots of ways you can lose, and poor targeting and poor landing pages will result in immediate failure. So learn copywriting, learn how to build web pages, and if you don't know how to do that yet, then simply just come in and ask if you have a landing page you want to test, or check out some of the landing page templates, in fact, inside Powers Affiliate for ideas on what types of landing pages actually do work. Um, so recap, build a niche site, commit to 90 days. This is something you need to do. You need to take the time and really focus if you want to change your life, if you want to build something that is going to last forever. If you fail, it is the best learning you're ever going to get, okay? If you succeed, then congratulations. It's time to celebrate. Um, go have a, a drink somewhere and relax and, and lay up on the beach, but don't lay up too long. You need to get back to work because the internet lifestyle is not all beaches and Lambos. Trust me, you've got to get out there, you've got to work, and you've got to provide content. So just remember, failure is key to learning, so don't, um, don't quit. 
this uh, this will still have value when you build it, okay? So even if you fail, you've you've created content online. You could sell that content on Flippa, get some of your money back, recoup some of your losses. So don't just quit and delete the website. Save it. You might just regret deleting that website in the future when you say, damn, I just put a whole bunch of work back. I remember a couple months ago, I built this website and it didn't work out, but now I know how it's going to work. Just hold on to it, save it, leave it in your, in your uh, portfolio. If you move on, you can always change your niche and stuff later but just save it and then just maybe go back to it later focus on a single audience not on a big gigantic niche that you're just gonna be like like don't do something like um financial success we'll say and that and that's your site and it's all about just being successful financially there's just too many ways to to go that route Another uh, idea might be to go just on how to reduce your debt. You could have a full website around how to reduce debt, how to save money, and that's you know how to you know plan and spend your money accordingly. That might be a better niche than just financial success. Um, so that's the idea there. Give your audience something in exchange for an email. It's not hard to come up with something for your audience. If you are stuck on finding something for your audience, simply say like, like let's say you're into guitar training and you want to, or let's maybe I use that example too much. Let's do um, someone who provides information on pain relief in the back, okay? So something really specific to back pain. You have back pain and you've been trying all these different things and finally one day you found the solution. It was this really great uh, meditation program that was working really, really well. So you create a guide about that and then give it away for free and telling people how you solved your back pain issue. If you still don't want to do that, go online and search back pain free PLR. So basically this is public label or uh, public label rights so you can actually get uh, ebooks out there that you can take yourself, rebrand them to your own book and then just give that to your audience if you don't want to write it yourself. There is basically PLR for everything out there. It's private label rights is the word I'm looking for. So look for private label rights and then your keyword or whatever topic you want to focus on and, and then do that to find yourself the exact type of um, freebie you want to give to your audience. Now there's definitely more to it when it comes to building authority. As you build more content, you aren't only going to get traffic from Google. You can get traffic from Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, uh, Reddit is another one. You can go on Snapchat and start sharing stuff, um, TikTok, all these other places out there that you can get traffic to a website. Um, there's different strategies for each one of those that uh, you can check through my YouTube channel. I'm sure I've talked about many of these and there will be more videos of course as well. Um, and then this is going to open up more traffic for you every single time you post more content on your website and share it and give people value. They might share it for you if you put the share buttons on there and you connect it all to your social media channels. So many online millionaires out there right now own multi-million dollar companies and they've started the exact same way. Just know that they started out as affiliates. They've mastered one or two traffic sources and they built massive lists of emails in a specific niche. Um, in my case, I've taken these websites, I've sold some, I've kept some, and now I just focus on a few select websites that I'm really um, I'm enjoying, okay? So that is how it works. There's no magic pill there's no magic formula it just comes down to creating value creating content and building something for yourself so if you're looking for some more structured training on how to build your website let me show you some of the places you can get this stuff right now we're going to talk about where you can find the training on building your website building up your email marketing strategy setting up the cpa affiliate paid ads which is the added piece that you're going to make money immediately from and then more traffic strategies so obviously the first place you can come is todayjobhacks.com and get that free ebook which basically describes everything that I've talked about in this video. But if you want something to read at night and over the course of the weekends, uh, by all means, please come in and read that book. Now another place you need to go is the powerhouseaffiliate.com slash action dash plan. This will show you how to build your cash ready affiliate marketing website in 60 minutes or less. So it basically goes through the, the setup from start to finish. So video one here is gonna show you how to set up your blog in five minutes. Then it's gonna show you how to create your affiliate blog as well as the plugins you need to install. It's gonna talk about how to build your landing pages quickly. 
as well as set up tracking. So there is a free tracking program here that you can get access to for tracking, as well as it talks about the tracking you're going to need, like a a Google Analytics, all of that kind of stuff. All here free. Just go there and learn how to build your cash-ready affiliate marketing website. It goes on a little bit later to talk about Bing ads, but that is um, not something you really need to focus on right now. Just go in and get your website set up, okay? The next place you're going to want to uh, go is log into Powerhouse Affiliate, whether you have the free or paid account. Um, you can come in here, and we do have some free training here. We have the Stage 1 Affiliate Marketing course that you can get, and it'll track all of your progress. But again, for your list building certification, email list building, we have an entire course on here that describes everything in video and in um uh, written format so you can see we have several lessons here creating your opt-in bait autoresponder squeeze pages autoresponder sequence so how to set that up how to track your email opt-ins and all of that stuff the pre-funnel strategy as well as list segmenting and all of that stuff so you can come in here and 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 learn about that stuff as well we also have the cpa affiliate marketing course which is right here performance marketing certification again we go into many different lessons in here we talk about what is CPA, how to get accepted into networks, CPA offers and restrictions and traffic sources, how to collect leads, prepare your killer sales funnel, setting up the squeeze pages, setting up the tripwire landing page, connecting the dots, all of that stuff. Everything you need to know right there. And then we have two more courses on website traffic generation. We have the web tra website traffic certification as well as the native ad. So if you click on website traffic certification, you'll see again we have lessons on four pillars for the foundation of your traffic surge, uh, solo ads, search ads, push notifications, video traffic, Facebook native, all of these covered in detail as well as our case studies, which go into even more detail if you want to see the ins and outs of ads and landing pages and everything else that are that is involved. So we do have case studies on white hat Facebook campaigns, propeller, rich ads, bang ads, push notifications, all that kind of stuff. So I think 